All right, guys, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Death From Above 40K. It's battery report time today. I'm doing something that I don't normally do. I'm doing soup lists just for something different. Mix it up, see how we go. So we've got 2,000 point game. So this side is the Imperial side, so let's break it down and go through it. So overall, we've got dual battalion. So one's a guard battalion, one's a blood angel battalion. Then we've just got an amalgamation of... Grey Knight stuff that I've painted up and just really wanted to use today. This is actually the reason for the battle report. So let's go through the Grey Knight stuff first. We've got Master Voldus. Um, he's got Hammerhand, Sanctuary, and the Teleporty one, Gate of Infinity. Then behind him, Nemesis Grandmaster in Dread Knight. He's got the Gatling Silencer, <laughs> the, uh, the other big cannon, and he's got a hammer. He'll have the Scotter Teleporter and his power is Sanctuary. Then we've got some Interceptors. I'll get them mixed up all the time. There's so many inter starting names for Space Marines. They've got the Falchions, Hammer on the Sergeant, and their power will also be Gate of Infinity. Then if we go back here, we've got a Venerable Dreadnought with twin auto cannons, and his power will be Astral Aim. So that covers the Grey Knight section. Then over here, guard, we've got a battalion. So we've got one, two, three identical infantry squads, each with plasma gun and an auto cannon. Then if we go to the back here, oh, sorry, over here. Where are we? Oh, front. <laughs> two company commanders, no upgrades. Then at the back, we've got two battle tanks. So one Lemain Rust, just with normal battle cannon and heavy boulder. And then one with the plasma executioner and three boulders for two heavy support slots. So that makes up this battalion. Then if we go over here, we've got Blood Angels. This is a little Primaris detachment with a flyer. So we've got Gravis Captain, Lieutenant, and then one, two, three units with auto bolt rifles and power fists, and then a bit of air support. We got the Storm, uh, Storm Hawk Interceptor with rockets, LAS, and assault cannons. So this comes in at 2,000 points and 13 command points, I believe. So we'll see how this goes, plenty of command points, and uh, we'll go have a look at the enemy. All right, guys, here's the chaos forces that we'll be taking on the Imperium today. Once again, soup. We've got a mix of things. So. Starting off, once again, we have a dual battalion again, so two of them. So the first battalion is an Iron Warriors battalion with the Master of Possession. Then we've got a Demon Prince with Claws. Then for troops, we've got one, two, three Iron Warrior units, each with a Laz Cannon. Then in heavy support, we've got one, two, three Venom Crawlers. This makes up the Iron Warriors part of the army. Then if we go over here, we've got a Death Guard battalion. We've got one, two, three units of Plague Marines with the Blight Launchers and Plasma. Then we've got a Demon Prince in here and a Malignant Plague Caster. Then, just to mix it up, because this is another army I'm painting, which will be on the channel soon, we've got some Thousand Suns. So we've got a Terminator um, Sorcerer. And then we've got one unit of the uh, Rubric Marines. So that's just a little bit of a patrol detachment just to chuck in some different Chaos Gods. And then leading it all off, we've got none other than a bad Nerdy Spoiler. So he's called together all these Chaos Forces to come to uh, an Imperial planet to summon some Demon Carnage and uh, get along on that mission. So that's the two forces. Uh, this one also comes in, I think this one comes in at 14 command points. So, we'll get to the mission, roll it up, and um, we'll get these two forces going. We'll get some demon hunting going, some Imperials versus Chaos, some good versus bad, all that good stuff. Alright. Alright guys, here's the battlefield. We've got set up on each side, bit of uh, chaos across the way. The mission is the relic today. So as the relic, 
we've got this tech priest. He's the relic because he's maybe possibly gone over to the dark mechanicum, we're not sure yet, and he's got some information that Abaddon, the despoiler himself, has come here to collect. And then upon hearing this information, the Grey Knights have assembled this mighty force of space marines to come and take this man or machine, heretic, whatever you would like to call him, back to their planet and interrogate him on what it is he knows, because Abaddon's certainly not going to tell him. All right, so for the setup, the Imperium set up first. They won the role, so they got over here. Flyer looking across the battlefield as we come along. We've got a back line of guardsmen, tanks, cannons, guns. In front of them, the mighty Space Marines looking into the center here to go and grab it. The sergeants are already telling each other, objective sighted, let's get in there and get it. Then over here, the Grey Knights hidden away, ready to teleport in. All right, if we go across the way here, we've got three Venom Crawlers, a Badden, and the two Iron Warriors HQs there supporting him. Then in the center here, we've got a gun line of Iron Warriors with LAS cannons overlooking the battlefield, ready to shoot anything. Behind them, the Sorcerer himself, who's come here with a Badden with the information to capture this tech priest. He's back here because he's important. And then over here, for some muscle, Abaddon has called in none other than the Death Guard, led by their mighty demon prince, to come and assist him in crushing the Imperium. So, we'll see if the forces of chaos can uh, seize. That's a big fat no. So. Imperium will have first turn guys and we will get back to you and see how this pans out in this soup mission of Chaos versus the Imperium Alright guys at the end of the Imperium turn one. It's been a bit of a massacre around here So starting movement wise None of the guardsmen moved at all. They stood still and just aimed their guns to this center here to provide cover the uh, Space Marines all move forward they didn't run it, they just sort of moved here to uh, carefully look over this. Um, these two stayed here, um, him giving him the rerolls to shoot and also casting powers to teleport this guy across and these guys used their little jump pack teleport to come across. Um, now in the shooting phase, <laughs> as you can see here, there are no more demon engines. Um, the Grandmaster teleported to here uh, used the stratagem to buff the power of his two shooting guns and single-handedly blew away one of the Venom Crawlers. Then these guys here buffed their bolt guns using the side bolt ammunition and shot the crap out of another one, took about five wounds off. Um, then if we come back over here, the one that got bolted was finished off with this one uh, using his astral aim shooting through the wall at it. And then he ran in and smashed the last one with his hammer completing the uh, triplet so all three of them are removed then there was an assortment of guys from here pretty much got shot to pieces by combination of these here and then these guys ran in and assaulted after shooting killing three and then this flyer here shot over here and killed one plague marine so the imperium has struck first and struck hard but chaos still has a lot left on the table so we'll see what happens when they uh retaliate against the Imperium. Okay guys, at the end of Chaos Turn 1, a bit of stuff happened. So, these guys moved forward, as you can see, the Marines around here, the big blob of Death Guard has moved up here, just near this, and that was about it for the movement phase. There wasn't a great deal of movement. Psychic-wise, uh, six wounds were taken off the baby carrier, um, due to smites. I could only st stop so many of them and with all these psychs here they just kept zapping away and they don't get baby smite, they get full smite so it hurts. Um, so that happened in the psych phase, shooting. These guys combined firepower blew away unit of Primaris Marines with their plasma and all that sort of stuff. This guy psychicked over into this plane and took two wounds off it with uh, smite. Uh, these guys come running around here and shot into the interceptor squad and then beat him up in combat, taking him out. 
The last cannon's up here. This one retreated out, but these two fired across and took this tank down to 10 wounds. So pretty much immobilized. It's going to be hitting on like fives now. Then in combat, a bit of a funny sort of thing happened. Uh, a bad end, a demon prince, and this guy charged in. Abaddon hit this guy and caused about six wounds on him with his claw. Um, but due to Sanctuary, every single roll was saved. And then the Nemesis, I paid the two command points to interrupt combat and just mashed the Demon Prince into the ground with ease. Like one round of combat just absolutely pumped him. I suppose that's the benefit of things like Grey Knights. Um, when you come up against demons, you really destroy them. All right, so at the end of that, they also have first strike, so both armies have first strike. No one has the relic yet, so we'll get back to Imperium turn two and see if they can't uh, get this relic and get this game moving. It's going pretty even so far, we'll see what happens. All right guys, at the end of Imperium turn two, uh, there's been some stuff go down, some hardcore hitting, some whatnot. All right, so let's break it down. So these guys sort of made a push forward. This tank moved forward a bit to get in range. The Marines all ran forward into the center of here. Master Voltus has teleported over here. Um, and the baby carries still over here. Now in the combat, so in the shooting phase, or psychic phase I should say, this got Astral Aim off and did some shooting. Voltus teleported over here and then we've got Hammerhand um, and Sanctuary off on the big guy. Uh, making him pretty pretty smashy and then shooting elsewhere so after the phase Volta shot over here killed a couple of guys in here most of the tanks and stuff at the back here all shot into here trying to eliminate all these las cannons up the back and successfully took them down to one um, heap of shots were poured into the plague marines but to no avail nothing happened and shots were poured into these guys and with their special I think it's all his dust rule um, a lot of the shots just bounced off them. They did. They just weren't, yeah, affected at all. So you need high AP to get these guys um, hurting. All right. But then over here in the combat phase, as you can see, Abaddon is not there anymore. The baby carrier smashed him, uh, doing something like 16 wounds, and then that being halved because of Abaddon's special rule rounding up, he still took the eight wounds and just got annihilated. Um, turns out that the... Master Baby Carrier is just an absolute monster so far. He is down to halfway though, so we'll just see what happens with that. Um, the Marines now have this, so it'll be up to Chaos to try and take it back in their turn. So, shot's been fired. Let's see if Chaos can swing this back around. All right. All right, guys, at the end of the Chaos turn, things have gotten real. So, over here, these guys backed out of combat with this guy and tried to shoot at him with his last cannon, doing nothing. We did manage to take one more wound off him with a mortal wound attack. Then over here, this is where it's all happened. As you can see in the center here, there are no space marines. So, this death guard contingent just poured over the edge here, just lit up these guys, shooting into them, blowing them apart. Then this uh, demon prince come barreling across here, running over here, picked the Gravis captain up over his head and tore him in half while shouting death to the false emperor. He then consolidated over into here with these Rubik marines and this guy and they continued to annihilate the rest of the marines that were here. Then Voldus, who's got caught up in the middle of all this, struck back and took five wounds off the demon prince and now he's <laughs> in the middle of all this, but that's right where he wants to be. Um, in terms of the guard, they're just sitting back there. Uh, nothing's happened to them at this point. And the Death Guard now hold the relic and have a firm grip on the center of the battlefield. So the Marines have, or the Imperium have plenty of stuff still to retaliate with. So we'll see what they can do in their next turn in terms of coming in here and washing away the filth from the center of the board with this giant uh, demon prince now becoming the warlord of this army. All right, we'll get back to you at the end of Imperium turn three. All right guys, end of Imperial's turn three. So, these guys stood still to maximize shooting. Pretty much all their firepower went into Plague Marines here, killing assortments of them all over the place. 
Um, this guy also added fire. They were really resilient sort of all in here. Um, Pass a lot of disgustingly resilient, so there's bits and bobs of them all over the place. The reason there's um, chunks out of each unit is line of sight. Um, then, in here, the Baby Carrier and Master Voldus. Master Voldus uh, killed the Demon Prince. Then, this guy killed three of these guys. Three of these Plague Marines in combat. He's stuck in there, they hit him back, didn't do anything. Uh, these Rubik Marine guys managed to do a wound on Master Voldus. Um, over here, this thing pretty much whiffed, shooting into these and doing nothing. And that's pretty much about it. At this point, the uh, Forces of Chaos are still holding the center with all these troops. So we will get to their third turn and see if they can't retaliate against these guys. They've still got some strong characters in there and some firepower, so they should be able to do some stuff. All right, we'll get back to yours. All right, end of chaos, turn three, and it was a pretty quick turn because we're running low on models. But in here, there's a lot of wizards. Well, there was a lot of wizards. Um, this guy with his pandemic staff, I think it's pandemic staff, managed to get off Blades of Putrefaction and he finished off the baby carrier. Then this guy ran in here and he gave himself the power that rerolls ones to hit and wound and he took four off Foldus. Um, then Voldus retaliated back and smacked down the Zeech Terminator Lord just with ease. Um, this Laz Cannon tried shooting across here to finish off this tank. These guys, it didn't work out. These guys here just shot in here and killed some guardsmen. Um, and they're just holding the center. So Chaos is down in numbers. But now there's only Voldus severely wounded in the center helping out. Can the guardsmen with this firepower and the venerable dreadnought over there bail him out and capture this objective. We'll see. We'll get back to you at the end of the uh, next Imperial turn. Alright guys, at the end of Imperial turn 4, all that's left of the Chaos Forces are these two sorcerers. Master Voldus single-handedly smashed all the Rubik Marines and the rest of the stuff that was on the table was just shot to pieces by the rest of this firepower. So, we'll see if these two guys can't do anything. Um, and we'll get back to this. We'll give them their one last turn to try and uh, finish off Voldus and possibly uh, kill some guardsmen and see how we go. Alright, we'll get back to you, uh, <laughs> see what they can do. Alright, guys, so at the end of the Chaos turn, they managed to kill Master Voldus and kill some guardsmen. There was only the two sorcerers left. We did a bit of a rollout, and these guns just absolutely smoked the. Um, the two sorcerers that were left of different flavors. So it is an imperial victory. All that's left on the table is pretty much the guard contingent, this vehicle and these. So they won, but at the cost of all the space marines and gray knights sacrificing themselves for this knowledge here. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this matchup. Um, if you do, like and subscribe. Um, hit that bell notification and I'll have another video up this Wednesday which will be the part two of building my Grey Knights list. So a bit more detail, a bit more rundown on the Grandmaster as you've seen today. He does some pretty good work. Alright guys, we'll get back to you.